I recently learned about a new comet that appears every 71 years, and I don't suspect I'll be in a position to photograph it when it comes back, so I had to check it out. When I started planning photographing this comet, I realized that I had a very unique opportunity. I'm excited to share with you all of the steps I took to capture uh, what I think is a unique image in my library. My name is Jeremy Lickness with Deep Sky Workflows. Let's go comet chasing. So my first step was to see exactly where is this comet going to be. So I used the Stellarium software and I'm going to set the date and time to the Saturday I knew was clear. And this is about right in the evening. And then I know the comet is northwest. So if we look northwest here. And then there it is right there, Pons Brooks. So that's our comet, Jupiter, lots of activity. I can come here. This is the camera I plan to use. This is my 20 millimeter shot. It's pretty large. Let's go to the 50 millimeter. And that showed me that I can easily get the galaxy and the comet. So the question was, what else would be there and the only way to really find out is to uh, head over there and try this out the game plan is to end up somewhere around here so that northwest is this way where the lighthouse is and hopefully our galaxy and our comet will line up in a preferable way. Hello everyone, this is Jeremy with Deep Sky Workflows and we are driving to Agate Beach to chase a comet. So I'll be showing you my gear setup, my plan, and we will see if we're able to pull off a good shot tonight. So it's uh, Andromeda Galaxy, Comet 12P, Pons Brooks, the uh, Pleiades, Jupiter, and there even may be a special guest if we uh, time it right. So let's see how it goes.
Thank you.